When we walk on the streets, we get to see some people begging, sleeping or sitting shabbily around the corner. Do you think they choose to live like this? I think not, in fact, I think that they are the victims of circumstances. They are the poorer sections of society. It is so sad to see that those people do not even have basic facilities. Due to this, many people especially small children are affected by malnutrition and several types of diseases, but as they do not have enough money they cannot afford treatment. To understand this better, let us have an example. Mina was a middle-class girl. She was playing to the ground. As suddenly a lady came and started begging, please give me money or food I have not eaten anything. Mina had never encountered with this so she got stunned for a minute. Before she could say anything her mom came shouting from behind, you, a poor woman gets lost shoe. Mina let us go inside, and she dragged Mina hurriedly inside the house. After reaching the house Mina asked her mom, why did you tell her to get lost she was hungry, so why didn't we give her food? Her mother was unable to answer. Now isn't this what we all do when a beggar comes for begging? Let us now look at a better example and try to understand their problems. Rada was a very passive girl. She always wanted to do things that would contribute to society. One day she got the wonderful experience of interviewing a poor person. This was- Hello sir, very pleased to see you. What is your good name? My name is Kuldeep and I am from Punjab. If you are from Punjab, then what are you doing here in Mumbai? Last year I actually came here searching for a job, but luck was not in my favor and here I am sitting as a beggar in front of you. Don't worry sir, we will help you in becoming an asset to this nation. But in order for us to help you effectively, what are the problems you face in day-to-day -day life? There are hurdles at every time of the day. Sometimes I have to go without food for three minutes, four days. I also do not have a proper shelter to stay in. I get sick time to time, but because I don't have money, I can't have treatment. I wear tour clothes and at maximum I have a low wage of employment of 30 days in a year. Oh sir, so sorry to hear all this and the job ratio gap is very huge. And what about your education qualifications? I studied till 15 but see now even with all that education I am unemployed. Yes, I do agree with you. There is a lot of uneducated unemployment in urban areas. But rest assured, I have been raising a fundraiser and soon will open an NGO to help the poorer sections of society. But how it would help me? Well, what we will do is first pass the biggest hurdle, which is winning the trust of people. Then we will collect the funds and then use that funds to buy things like clean water for drinking and bathing, providing clothes and food and other basic facilities. As our funds grow, we will open a small NGO. We would also provide them shelter. But how much funds can you get from one area only? We are not just focusing on one area. We will also expand and spread this idea over technology and the internet. And now with digital transactions, people around the globe would also be able to help. I am so much grateful for you to do all of these things for us. May God bless you. So we saw how poverty affects in people. We even gave you a solution that is racing a fundraiser to help the people. But on the small scale also you can help by providing them food or money whenever you see them. But most important thing that you can do is give them respect. 